goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. Alright. Yo, 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 games and graphics. We are back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we're gonna be installing Quant V. And we will be installing this on the current version of the game. This one is created by Quant Mods. Shout out to the creator. We are on Quant Mods Patreon page, which you will have to become a Patreon in order to get access to Quant V. All right. Um, now, once you get here, what you want to do is scroll down on this uh, Patreon page and you want to go to the latest post in order to access the latest update on Quant V. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into the requirements. What we are going to need is open for scriptbook V and scriptbook V.net. We will not be installing any of the requirements, although I'll leave links to videos down in the description showing you how to install those requirements if you don't have those already. All right. So once you have your requirements installed and you have your Quant V downloaded. All right. Now, the first thing that you want to do before you install Quant V is a uh, run the game and then you want to go inside the settings and then you want to go down to uh, graphics and then you scroll down to direct x version and make sure that that is on direct x 11 all right make sure it's on direct x 11 scroll all the way down till you get to shader quality okay make sure that the shader quality is on very high and scroll down to post fx make sure that that is on ultra Okay, post FX on Ultra. It should look something like this. I have one download over here, which is Quant V single player. And on my right hand side, I have my open four opened up and ready to go. Before you go any further, make sure that your edit mode is turned on in open four. Once that is turned on, let's go back to our Quant V single player folder and open that up. Inside that folder should look something like this. And it's going to have part one and part two and QV optionals. What we want to do is go ahead and open up that part one folder right there. Inside that part one folder is going to be one IV that's going to say base mod install. All right. Now let's go over to our open four right here. Make sure that you have a mods folder. OK, if you don't have a mods folder, you can just go right up here, select this little folder right there to create a new folder and name it mods all in lowercase. Once you have that mods folder created, then we can go back over here to our Quant V base mod install and drag and drop that OIV package right here into Open 4. Once you drag and drop that over in the Open 4, a package installer window should open up. Select install, select mods folder, then select install confirm installation. Once that is done, you can go ahead and close out that little window. Let's head back over to our download, press the back arrow. Go into the next folder, which is part two, part two, open up part two inside that folder is going to be the quant V install OIV package. What we want to do is take that drag and drop it over here to open four. package installer window will open up, select install, select mods folder, select install, confirm installation. Once that is done, you can go ahead and exit out of that window. Now, from this point, feel free to go inside of QV optionals and add any of these um, optionals that you want to add on. Uh, let's go through them real quickly. They have visual presets Inside so visual presets will be presets for reshade. You can also install reshade and, of course, EMB series along with this um, in the next folder, blizzard, weather and snow, clearing rain, some other uh, weather modifications in that folder. Uh, next folder is uh, long draw distance and reflections. Um, next one down is motion blur. And as you can see in all these folders, the majority is going to have a OIV package, which means it's going to be a simple installation. Uh, you have old game patch uh, compatibility, reduced vehicle skip mark at low speed. Um, the trainer. OK, we're going to be installing the trainer, though. All right. And uh, you also have an uninstall right here, an uninstall folder where you could um, uninstall Quant V as well as a uh, via share custom via share with HQ tires, CA plates, things of that type of nature. Let's go ahead and open up the trainer folder. In a trainer folder, we definitely need this right here. We're going to be going over the features in the trainer, at least the categories. So let's go ahead and drag and drop this trainer single player OIV package over to open four. All right. And for this one, we want to select install. 
And for this one, since it's the trainer and it's going inside of our uh, GTA 5 directory, we want to choose game folder. Okay, that's the only time. The majority of time, we send all of our mods straight to the mods folder. But this one is going in our GTA 5 directory. So we want to send that to the game folder. So select game folder and then select install confirm installation. After that is done, exit out of there. And now we are all good to go. We can go ahead and minimize any other windows that we might have open and run the game. All right, once you spawn into the game, um, you should automatically see the game looking differently. The graphics mod will take effect immediately. Um, in order to open up the Quant V menu, you wanna press function key F5, okay? Function key F5. Hold on, cause I got, uh, got two menus in there. All right, there we go. So when you press function key F5, it's going to open up the Quant V menu on the left side of the screen, all right? Um, we're not gonna go through all the features, but I will go through at least the categories, okay? So the first one, of course, is graphics, okay? Inside graphics, you get to modify the motion blur, um, reflections, HDR global, or reflections glossiness, or um, lens global, clouds, water, eye candy, those type of things, okay? You even have an option down here to show big radar, hide it, or show FPS and remove traffic, okay? Um, there's a lot of other features in here besides um, just graphics, all right? Um, next one down is vehicles, okay? In vehicles, you have options for vehicle guide mode, uh, spawn in the vehicle, add on vehicle, um, modify like the, the different parts, to the cars or whatnot nitrous it has a lot of different options inside of uh, the vehicle category next one down is player let's go inside player of course you have god mode never want it um skin changer you can change characters uh mobile radio hide um uh reticle reticle or something like that um different cameras um camera movements or something like that that you could uh modify right here also at the bottom but they have a lot of different features in the player category as well inside weapons category get all weapons no reload um fire ammo explosive ammo those type of things right there is going to be in weapons and in teleport of course in teleport you have uh teleport go to waypoint which means teleport to waypoint and you have a bunch of preset locations in here as well and you could also input your own custom teleports down at the bottom and also has a category for mp maps um when we go back we have cam control so in the cam control you could of course uh change the camera view whatever you want the camera to be at and uh next category down is time Let's go inside there. You can change the year, the month, day, hour, minute. Damn, even the year, huh? Uh, but yeah, you can change it to any time of the day inside here, even slow down uh, the, the, the time, slow like slow motion. And you could also set it to uh, your system time. Uh, the last category in Quant V menu is going to be the weather, where you can change the weather to anything you like. And it also has the option uh, near the bottom to make wet roads so you can actually have the roads wet like this without it raining okay so it could be you know sunny outside and you could select this feature right here enable it and make all the roads wet you know like doing different type of videos or whatever um and you also have an option to uh make snow all over the ground as well as you can see we got snow around us now gonna be all over the buildings and stuff like that so you can toggle on the snow with this as well all right so that's gonna cover everything inside of here I suggest that uh, you go through the menu yourself test out everything and um, you know just test out to your liking and um, from there you'll be all good yo so uh, we're gonna go ahead and end the tutorial right here but if this helps y'all out to install it or if you just enjoyed the video feel free to smash that like button for me Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And share the video with your friends that are in the modding GTA 5. Y'all's games and graphics, me and uh, Big Ball and Ass Frank. We are out of here till next time. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.